Back in the 1990s, Cherokee Parks was a college standout in Duke University. During his freshman year, the 6'11 center helped a team made up of future NBA stars like Christian Lettner, Grant Hill, Bobby Hurley, Antonio Lang and Brian Davis under the watch of coach Mike Krzyzewski. It was one of the most talked about NCAA finals to date. The Blue Devils prevented the popular Michigan Fab Five that starred the likes of future NBA players Chris Webber, Juwan Howard and Jalen Rose to win the championship. When he entered the 1995 NBA draft, expectations were high for Parks. He would eventually be selected as the 12th overall pick by the Dallas Mavericks. Nine seasons later, Parks found himself being a journeyman and played for eight different teams. His held career averages have 4.4 points and 3.6 assists. Looking back, Parks revealed that he battled depression most of the time. Last NBA season, mental health awareness was one of the hot topics in the NBA. Among the stars who spoke out about depression were Kevin Love of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Demer Darazin of the San Antonio Spurs. For Parks, the NBA taking mental health seriously is a great sight compared to his time. At the time I was playing, it was just the worst outlets on people that you can talk to. I didn't know if I would be able to talk to anybody, revealed Parks. So now, there is a big push to communicate. We needed to communicate with our teachers, we needed to communicate on relationships, we needed to communicate with our family, communication is important, and that is the first step. The NBA searched for resources and created an environment for the players to have an outlet for them to talk about anything to someone with no judgments and no one wanting them to fail. We all have our different journeys, we all have our different challenges, we all have our different obstacles, to be able to have that first step, and for the players, to have that first step, we are rather in a good place," Parks said. More importantly, Parks encourages NBA players to take this benefit, not just when they are feeling down, but also when they feel great about themselves. Don't wait until the wheels fall off, don't wait until you are out of low, to reach out to people, while you are happy, reach out to people, when you have the best week ever, and figure out on having the best week ever," he said. Parks, who is here in Manila for the junior NBA activities wanted to leave a good legacy behind. In doing so, having an NBA calling card and sharing his story to everyone was his dream. The Junior NBA Philippines program has produced top caliber Filipino athletes with the likes of Kiefer and 30 Ravina, Kobe Paras, Aljan Mariano, and Kai Sato. For promising young athletes, life seemed easier for them outside of playing parks revealed. Agents and teams tend to pamper players doing everything for them and focus on just playing the sport, a benefit that can backfire at any time. With sports, it is a challenging situation because as you grow up as a young player, things are handled for you, he said. People handle healthcare for you, people handle travel for you. People handle logistics and moving around for you so, when it comes to having something personal, maybe you just don't have the tools to handle things on your own. Dottie would then advise young athletes that are facing the pressure to succeed is to take the first step on communicating on what they feel. You need to be able to talk to people which are coaches, your family and be able to determine what it is that is actually that is holding you back. That is the first step. It's just to move forward, he said. Doc Parks would then elaborate more on what to do afterward. You need to have a plan. Like anything else in life, you need to have a plan. 
you just can't expect things to move forward, advises Parks.